Hi friends. Today we are going to see the topic about looping. Why we are going for loop statement? We need the same code for repeatedly use for different purpose or the same purpose. So for that reason the code needed again and again. So we use loops in python so similar way we are using c c plus plus java the loops will be used in python there are two forms of loops while loop and uh, for loop so please open the ideally so now i use the while loop a equal to 0 sorry instead of a equal to 0 I give a less than 10 and a equal to 10 I assign the value right a equal to 10 I assign the value a equal to 10 now I am going to Print the value in reverse 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 by using while loop. While a less than, sorry, while a greater than 0. At the end of the while statement, you could we put colon to specify the while statement. And next line, you use indentation. for the while statement print of a now the next line you can use a equal to a minus 1 to print by 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 after you, you are giving a equal to a minus 1 you can double enter the result will be displayed in your screen so this is the simple execution of while loop so while if the test condition is true the statement block will be executed when it the test condition false it will goes to the other statement so repeatedly the while loop will be executed so now I am going to the so now you can open the file I saved in while file so now I am going to do one program for sum of the given numbers by using while loop print of enter the number of elements to be added so first statement I'm going to print the number of elements are going to be added you can get the input n equal to int of inputs enter the number so you are going to give the integer input so for the reason you are converting the given input as integer and stored into the variable n so and assign the variable sum equal to 0 and after that you are comparing the given n input is greater than 0 n is greater than 0 and find next print enter the element you need to be added num equal to int of input number to get the input and after that sum plus equal to num so sum plus equal to num means 0 plus you can for example give uh, 50 so it will be added with 0 plus 15 and next line you can print n equal to n minus 1 for next input we are getting so finally you can give print the sum of the given number is slash sum it will be printed so enter the number of elements to be added so after running the module the output screen will be appear here suppose if I give 5 inputs I need to be added I give 5 and after that I give the first input as 6 and second input as 5 and third input as 4 and 4th is 3 and 5th is 2 so finally the sum of the given number is 20 so if you have to show when the while loop is completed you have to press double enter in your program module and after that you can 
print the statement. The sum of given number is slash sum. This will be printed in your screen. You can able to see in your video uh, as I was shown. Now, this is the simple program for while loop. And now I am going to do one for loop. For that reason, I create an array variable. Array equal to the variable name. I am having some values 5, 10, 20, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, 16. So nearly 10 variables are stored in array. So now I use to define the for statement for num in array. So at the end, you have to give colon in for statement, otherwise, it will source an error. So after that, giving colon, you can enter and give on indentation and write the statement of for print of num and press double enter. You can able to get the result what you stored in array. This will be displayed in 1 by 1 by 1, 5, 10, 15 and so on, 50. I think, hope you enjoyed this video while on for loop. If you are having any doubts, put the comment in comment box, otherwise you can mail me. Thank you for seeing.